we turn wine bottles into sand to ultimately restore our coast here in Louisiana. We don't have time to wait for like these old people to make decisions. That's what our generation is about. I co-founded the only glass recycling facility in Louisiana. My co-founder and I, we were seniors in college in 2020. Like most good ideas, it happened over a bottle of wine and we knew that that bottle of wine was going to end up in a landfill. We kind of hatched this plan to recycle glass. So we started in a backyard and we launched a GoFundMe campaign to raise a couple thousand dollars in order to purchase our first machine. Yep, so globally, sand is the second most exploited resource after water. And we're using up sand at twice the rate that it can be naturally created. And now you might be thinking, what about the Sahara Desert and all the sand I see around the world? Well, the sand that we need for buildings, concrete, asphalt, even like coastal restoration projects, it needs to be coarse and a bit angular and desert sand is far too fine and rounded. We started this as college kids, um, so we didn't have any money. We didn't have any recycling knowledge. We learned everything along the way. So far, we have diverted over 2.2 million pounds of glass from landfills. So you want to see how we turn this into this? We collect the glass either through our free drop-off service or through our paid pickup service. And then once the glass reaches our warehouse, usually it just ends up in sort of like a pile that we call Glass Mountain. And then from there, we dump it into the hopper of our pulverizing machine, and that'll crush it up, take out all the labels, the metal pieces, all the non-glass stuff. And then what comes out is a mixture of glass, sand, and gravel. Each different size has a different utilization. So the really fine stuff, we use it for disaster relief sandbags. The coarse sand is what we're using for coastal restoration. And then the gravel can be used for landscaping, terrazzo flooring. Through our like TikTok and social media, we get to see reactions from people around the world. The main ones are, this is amazing and will the sand cut me? Okay, I'm gonna walk in the sand made from recycled bottles to show you that it's not sharp. we were awarded a National Science Foundation grant in September of 2021. And since then, we've been conducting experiments, making sure that everything is safe and will only benefit the environment. And all of those results were so positive that we took 15 tons of sand and 35 volunteers down the coast and worked with the Pointe aux Chênes tribe on restoring a part of their land. We always want to have a glass half full mindset, no matter how dire the climate change situation seems, understanding that there's so many scientists and engineers coming up with climate solutions. We're out there collecting waste. My advice really is if you see a problem that you wanna solve, just go for it.